Hi, this is Tim from fitatmidlife.com and today we have the GORUCK Mac V1 Jungle Rucking Boot. This is a new second generation version of the Mac V1 boot. This is a first look and unboxing, but we're going to give you a tour of all the special features and tell you what's new and improved, so stick around. All right, let's take a look at the Mac V1. This is the second generation of the Mac V1 boot. The two biggest changes from the first generation, the upper is now made with what GORUCK is calling challenge leather. It is a tougher um, leather that is meant to last longer and should improve with time and use, according to GORUCK. In addition, the boot has a new all-terrain outsole. So GORUCK has addressed some of the complaints and issues of the original Mac V1 boot, which did not have quite as competent an all-terrain tread pattern on the boot. So those are the two major new changes for the Generation 2 boot. A lot of the existing features have been carried over from the original Mac V1. So for example, you can see the speed laces are here. This is a three millimeter lace. This is significantly smaller than your normal five millimeter boot laces that would be used. And the reason that GORUCK recommends the three millimeter speed laces, these are quicker to tie, there's less bulk to them, and these will not gather as much mud, debris, or absorb as much water because they're simply smaller. The ankle support area is made from 1000D Cordura and nylon webbing. This nylon webbing is integrated with the heel counter so that when you tighten the laces, it better um, gives you better support through the ankle. And this part of it is, again, 1000D Cordura, which is one of GORUCK's favorite materials. Uh, this is very tough um, 1000D. This is what the GORUCK rucksacks are made out of for the most part. And um, while tough and durable, this isn't usually a super breathable material, 1000D Cordura. This boot in particular, this is the 6-inch high Coyote Suede. You can see the GORUCK spearhead logo here on the heel. This, this is a very nice look and feel. Uh, I'm quite pleased with it. The, it is also available in black leather. And the Coyote Suede is also available in an 8-inch high boot that would be AR671 compliant if you're in the military and you need that. The black leather version of the boot is also available in a 6-inch and an 8-inch model. One of the features that makes this boot a jungle rucking boot is the fact that it has drain ports. So these are mesh-covered ports that when the shoe gets, when the boot gets immersed in water, water will drain out from the ports with every step that you take. So this is not a waterproof boot. That's why they call it a jungle boot. Boots for jungle use, you assume you are going to get wet, your feet are going to be submerged, and it's best to just drain the water as quickly as possible. So that's what the drain ports are for. The heel-to-toe drop in these boots is 13 millimeters. That is the height difference between your heel and your toes. GORUCK specifically has chosen a 13 millimeter heel-to-toe drop for endurance so that they claim that means less stress on your Achilles which is less stress overall on your knees and your ankles and your hips which makes it easier to go farther distances. Um, the heel to toe drop is also sometimes called the offset or just the drop but again it's 13 millimeters. The outsole again is a new pattern uh, these lugs are fairly deep, but not, um, not maybe not as 
deep as, as regular boots. The outsole is made from a dual compound rubber, so the heel is more stable and durable. The forefoot is grippier for better traction. And that's sort of uh, something you see in common with the training shoes that, that most manufacturers make as well. So you can kind of see there the depth of the tread. Um, so I, unfortunately, I don't have the first gen Mac V1 to compare against here, but hopefully this gives better all-terrain performance. The outsole also rolls up around the toe uh, for a toe guard. So that will help protect your toe in... Um, rough terrain, but also when you're doing push-ups, burpees, and, and things of that sort. These are not steel toe boots or anything like that. Um, they are just regular boots. Inside, there is what uh, Goruk calls their workhorse insert. This is sort of the drop-in midsole piece. You can see it has a Goruk logo. It is made from a fairly dense foam. It's got good arch support, and it is, of course, thinner up front in the forefoot, but much more cushion in the heel. Um, and overall, these feel pretty nice. I've done a little bit of walking in these so far, and they are uh, very comfortable. And speaking of comfort, one of the aspects of this boot this is the one with the midsole removed. Um, the heel counter area is actually lined with suede. So there's minimal break in time, at least Go Rook claims, with these shoes because of the suede lining in the heel counter. You can see the suede, it is the entire heel counter. And it does, it does feel really good, I can confirm that. You'll also notice when you have the midsole removed that you can see the drain ports, you can actually see daylight through the drain ports. So those, those are, you know, definitely there for draining water. These are made in Vietnam as, um, Goruk has explained to do high volume shoe or boot manufacturing in the States is very difficult. There are not a lot of places that do that. The equipment to do those sorts of volumes and to keep the prices affordable are uh, simply not feasible. So these are made in Vietnam. They are, however, covered by Goruk's SCARS lifetime guarantee. So if you were to have any sort of a problem with these, manufacturer defects and things like that, they should be covered for an extended amount of time. All right, let's talk sizing. Gora claims these boots run true to size. I would say that seems to be the case. They do recommend on the website that if you're unsure of what size to order to consider going one half size up to account for the foot swell that you will inevitably get on a long hiker march. I normally wear an 11. I ordered 11 and a half, and that's what these are. Um, I would say it feels a little too loose to me. I'm actually kind of wishing I had just ordered a, a size 11, which is my actual size. But these are preliminary results. I can't say for certain yet whether I recommend that or not, but they definitely seem to run true to size. Goruk also claims this is a lightweight boot. And so um, all things being relative, these do weigh about 20 ounces per boot for a size 11 and a half. So 20.2 ounces is what these actually weigh. That is about six and a half ounces heavier than a cross training shoe like the Reebok Nano 9 or the Nike Metcon 5. And overall, I mean, I, you know, in my opinion, that's, that's a lightweight boot. This is the six inch version, of course. Um, but with this heavier outsole and all the material and all the leather, um, for it to be only, you know, six and a half ounces or so over a training shoe is actually pretty good. So I, I am pleased with the weight of these boots. 
And so that's our first look at the GORUCK second generation Mac V1 six inch boot in Coyote suede. This is a lightweight boot at 20.2 ounces. It is a jungle boot. It has water draining ports. It also has other features that make it a comfortable boot and it should be good for long distance hiking, rucking, etc. This was a first look and unboxing. We look forward to bringing you updated results in the future on these boots. Thank you. Have a good day.